It's been 485 days since January 1st, 2022 as of the recording of this video. And I decided on January 1st, 2022, I was gonna invest $5 a day into the S&P 500 stock market. And I was actually gonna take another $5 and invest it in the cryptocurrency through Ethereum. Now, I'm gonna give you my results after 485 days of investing every single day. And we're gonna see how we stand here today. Here's, here's where it all started. It started with this right here, Starbucks. I decided, I, you know, I, I was actually a Starbucks addict. I was drinking way too much. But we're talking about like one or two a day at least. And I reflected back on that. You know, here I am wasting all this money on this coffee. and. Really, I'm literally pissing my money away. You see what I did there? <laughs> Instead of putting the $5 into Starbucks every day, I'm gonna take it and invest it. Because at the end of the year, I wonder if I'm gonna have more money versus what I would have, which is basically nothing, just the joy and satisfaction of having two cups of coffee a day. I am not saying that with this challenge that I started 485 days ago, that you have to give up Starbucks. I'm not one of those people that say, stop drinking coffee and if you do, you'll be a millionaire. No, no, no. My point is, is there something you can give up? Maybe just one cup of coffee a day. Maybe, maybe you only do two cups a week, or maybe there's something else you're doing. Maybe you're spending too much money on beer. Maybe you're spending too much money on like weird things. And you're like, you know what? I can cut back on my expenses just a little bit and instead put it toward good use and then see what happens, right? That's the point of this. This is for beginner investors. What's so interesting about that is this chart right here. Now this shows us US personal consumption and most importantly, the savings rate. Now take a look at this. In 2020, when we get hit with the pandemic, a lot of people are freaking out. So what they end up doing is they save and stash away as much money as possible. And that makes sense because we didn't know what was gonna happen. Everything was scary back then, and it was like, okay, well, I'm gonna stash away my money, and if I get laid off, I have some money to protect myself. But then as you trail it down, you can see, you know, it pops up a little bit in 2021, and ever since that, it's been going down, 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 currently at a 4.7% savings rate. Meanwhile, you can see over on the left-hand side of this chart, you have disposable income, and while that continues to kind of tick up, the personal outlays, which is basically saying what I'm spending, continues to tick up as well. So can we cut something from our budget, especially if you're not investing at all? Dear heavens, I, you know, hopefully this inspires some people to consider it. Now, everything I say here today is not financial advice to buy into what I'm buying into. You have to do your own research, and if you don't know what you're doing, go find a certified financial accountant to help you with those decisions. Now, let's get to the results. And I actually waited to do this for the 485th day because I was actually up pretty good in both Ethereum and the S&P 500 stock market. And I thought, well, instead of doing that and just saying, hey, look at all this, I made a lot of money, I'm doing great, yo. I wanted to give you the truth and the pain and agony that sometimes comes with investing. And I hope you appreciate you know, the truth and the realism here of what this can do for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna start with my first $5 into cryptocurrency, and then we'll talk about the stock market thereafter. So it's up to you. If you're not a big fan of crypto, you can hop ahead to the stock market only. Or if you're interested in both, hang out with me and let's talk about both results. So Ethereum, I decided to do that because you know, everybody talks about crypto. Now over the last 485 days, I have built up a total of 1.3910944 of Ethereum. Now I gotta just say, I, at the time, like if you would've asked me back on January 1st, 2022, hey, you know, $5, you'll get to have like an entire one Ethereum. I would be kind of not thinking about that back then because, you know, at the time, and especially today even, Ethereum goes for over $1,000 per one Ethereum. So to say I now own one Ethereum, just based on $5 a day, to me is just a little bit mind blowing. And of course the math makes sense, but when you look at it, when you're just starting off, you're like, really, I'm gonna build up to an entire Ethereum? And soon, maybe by the end of this year, I'm gonna have two Ethereum. Make sure you subscribe and I'll keep you updated with my future updates on this particular challenge. But anyway, my average cost, which because you're buying this every single day, you get to buy it when Ethereum's up and you're buying it when Ethereum is down. So you're taking advantage of when it's great and when it's bad. So that gives you an average cost. So my average cost, which I'll put right here, average cost is $1,745.87.
So all I would have to do now is you take this right here, of my 1.39 Ethereum, and multiply it by today's cost. Now, let's see how much Ethereum is going for right now. I'll use Seeking Alpha to pull it up, and you can see right here, we're going for $1,877.93. So that means I have a total of $2,619.39 of Ethereum. That's my market value right now. But of course, I put in $5 a day. So I got to subtract that out to see what my profit actually is. So if you think about it, $5 a day times 485 days in a year gives you $2,425. That's how much I invested. So the difference of that, $194.39. That represents an 8.01% increase, give or take. 8% increase on my money. So I've earned money based on this investment. Now, that wouldn't have happened with Starbucks, right? You don't get money back for buying whatever, you know, whatever your expense is for me, again, Starbucks. So, you know, I don't get that back. But here, because I opted to cut out a little bit of Starbucks, you know, whether that's one a week or one a day or whatever it is, I now have a nest egg of $2,619 saved up over 485 days with an 8% growth rate. That outpaces inflation and that outpaces just your typical savings account. But of course, it's volatile. It can go up and down, and I'm in it for the long game. So I'm not going to sell this $2,619. No, no. I'm going to hold it for the long term. So even if I go negative 8%, or even if it goes to like 1% growth, or even if it like just doesn't do anything for a while, long game. And I'm talking long game is a minimum for me of 10 years. So what we'll see is how this looks after 10 years from now. And hopefully you're still subscribed and then we can talk about it and see, look back on this video and be like, man, look at where we're at today. Cool. So now let's talk about the stock market. I also took $5 a day and put it into ticker symbol VOO. That is Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF. The reason I did that is I didn't wanna do a single stock, a single company. I wanted to own the top 500 companies in the United States. And that is what this particular ETF does. It gives you exposure to the performance of all 500 of those that are listed in the S&P 500. So what I did is I did $5 a day. Now the tricky thing here is that the market isn't open every single day like cryptocurrency is. Market is only open Monday through Friday, and it's closed on Saturdays and Sundays and all U.S. major holidays. So the math gets a little bit trickier because you either have to do $7 a day Monday through Friday to make up for the weekend, or you have to do a makeup buy of $10 to account for Saturday and Sunday and for all the different holidays that the stock market is closed. But outside of all that, here's where I stand today. Based on my 485 days for VOO, I now own 6.65865 shares. Now what's cool is that represents not only all of the $5 I've been putting in, but any dividend that's reinvested. See, VOO pays dividends. So you take that dividend rate percentage and then that gets reinvested back into buying more shares of VOO. Talk about like the fact that you get compound interest plus dividends. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Now, today's VU price, as of the recording of this video, is going for $371.73 per share. So if you wanted to buy a full share of it, you're chucking up $371. We don't have to worry about that because we're only doing $5 a day. It makes it super easy. So my current balance today in my Robinhood account, which is where I do this automatic investing program, is a total of $2,472.78. I subtract down $2,425, that's my $5 a day that I was investing. That gives me a total profit of only $47.78. Of course, that's good that it's a profit and not a loss, but that represents only about a 1.97% growth. Not good because it's not outpacing inflation right now, but remember, I'm in it for the long game. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, what about the fees? Robinhood has commission-free trades. You don't have to pay to buy this every day. Now, on top of that, you also have to keep in mind that you don't have to pay taxes on this except for the dividends and if you sell. And of course, if you sell and you have like a big capital gain, which means you've made a lot of money on your investment, then yes, you'll have to pay taxes. But I don't have to worry about that right now because I don't plan on selling my shares. But the most important thing to think about when it comes down to this measly 1.97% is those people that hold it for the long term. So let's take a look at this right now. Here, if we hop over here and we look at the charting, 
Total return is what we look at so we can factor in the dividends. In the last year, VOO is down negative 3.98%. So people that are haters are going to say that's absolutely ridiculous. You're, you're dumb. Why are you investing in this? But remember the long game. If we go to a three year, we're up 49.81% on our money. If we go up five years, 66.22% return on our money. Check out the 10 year, 200% growth. And that considers the pandemic where it crashed down and the dip of 2018 that we had. So of course you're gonna have natural volatility, but overall that 200% is looking pretty darn sweet. And the beautiful thing is the stock market over the last hundred years plus has grown at an average rate of 10% per year. Some years are gonna be higher, some years are gonna be lower, but the average is 10% growth. So remember the, of course the past is not indicative of the future. That doesn't mean that we're gonna get 200% 10 years from now. We could get less than that. We could get more than that. We don't have a crystal ball and we don't know, but I'm not a doomsday person. I'm not somebody that's gonna say, well, that was a great bull run, it's never gonna happen again. Because my question would be, well, then what are you gonna do otherwise? Because at the end of the day, for me, buying Starbucks every day, that doesn't get me anything. Whereas this $5 a day has grown my portfolio. Of course, right now, Ethereum is in the win, but we're gonna see over the long period of time. So make sure you subscribe to get more. And if you're not sure, how to get started with investing. Don't make a mistake of just hopping into a brokerage app and doing it that way. Make sure you set up yourself to be tax advantaged, to stick it to Uncle Sam and make sure that you're not paying unnecessary extra taxes because at the end of the day, taxes are gonna eat from your portfolio profit and we wanna be profitable. So in order to do that, check out this video next and we'll see you on the next video.